we approached uh, the making of this record uh, very differently than we did our last two records. Um, we ended up uh, recording all the basic tracks live because we really wanted to uh, more or less bridge the gap between what people hear live at our shows and uh, what people hear on our records. We, uh, we tracked everything live, all of us playing together, and for some of the songs, we pulled the click too, and it was just, it was just like, our producer was like, all right, I'm gonna pull the click and you guys just go. You know, so I think this is uh, the closest and definitely something that a lot of our fans have been wanting for a long time, you know, especially ones that are fans of our live show. They're like, man, I love your record, but you guys have so much more energy live. So, you know, for this one, we really wanted to capture that energy. We ended up throwing away everything that made us comfortable <laughs> about the process. Um, so we, new producer, new uh, city, new mindset. And um, the four of us recorded basic tracks live uh, and just uh, in a circle in this beautiful church in Nashville. And uh, producer Jay Joyce um, more or less had the balls to take that on with us. <laughs> and um, what you're hearing on this record is um, unapologetically Hailstorm. It was very freeing because we weren't necessarily basing the record on uh, production or a team around us or uh, or really even the songs. We ended up going in to record this record with, I think we only had about eight songs and we ended up recording 15. <laughs> Every time we go in to make a record, we have three more years of touring experience. And when you're out on the road playing shows every single night and you're two feet away from your bandmates at all times, you know, it just, you can't help but, you know, get tighter as a band, as, as a family. And, uh, you know, every time we go in to make a record, I feel like we, you know, we do feel a little bit more confident. And with this one, uh, we felt confident enough to, to get really creative. We're, we're at a place in time, I feel like, in our lives that we're able um, to trust ourselves and our, and our internal judgment. And, you know, hey, do we like this? Do we not? It, it, does this get us excited? Does it not? Um, you know, do, do we want to, um, you know, have RJ destroy a, a banjo with a drumstick. Sure, let's do that and record it. My inspiration for lyrics um, on this record came a little bit from, from everywhere. We've had a hell of a couple years <laughs> on the last record, and uh, part of the reason why we named the record Into the Wildlife um, was because trouble, in a good way, has kind of uh, been following us around. We've never been crazy partiers. We've never been trying to bring the 80s back. No hookers and blow, that kind of thing. But I'm telling you, there have been a couple nights <laughs> where we'll put on like some James Brown and just like chill out. And all of a sudden there'll be like girls in the bus and like everyone's half naked and, and we're like, what the hell is going on? A lot of the situations in, in the songs um, were influenced a lot by, by conversations that I've had with our fans. If any of you have followed us on social media, you know um, how much um, I, I do love to have conversations with everybody and, and uh, I'd rather err on the side of reaching out than, than being a recluse. So a lot of the conversations that I've had with, with all of you guys um, ended up kind of leeching their way into this record because it's always very interesting to me. I, I consider myself um, an observer and kind of a little bit of a sponge. You know, you soak it all in and then you kind of interpret it in your own way. This is kind of how I rebel, because <laughs> I'm, 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 more or less I'm kind of a, I like to say I'm a pleasant person, but, um, but I get my rocks off <laughs> through songs. So, um, uh, so I hope that um, all of you see a little bit of yourself in this record. <laughs>